Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and today is Thursday, August 7th. Well, we finally got the pullback. Um, my indicator has finally gotten down to the oversold area. I wouldn't say it's a very oversold, but uh, finally. Uh, it really stayed up there in a normal amount of time. Uh, but we got the pullback that we expected. Uh, big one in the Dow, but you know, there's room. There's still room. So we'll take a look at um, the major indexes and I'll show you what I mean. Just as long as our pattern stays intact, we got nothing to worry about. So, and so far, so good. But uh, we'll go over our indexes and uh, I'll give you the guidelines and I'll give you the areas that we need to hold on any pullback. But uh, this was expected, and uh, this is the way the market goes, you know, for two or three days up, one day back down, and uh, up and down, up and down, and that's what makes the game go around and round. So uh, what kind of day I have? I had a good day today. Sold uh, ATML, took 25% profit out of it in five trading days. You know, that's my bread and butter. This is the kind of trading I love to do. This is what I'm looking for. A quick 25, 30, 40 percent profit in, in a short period of time, and then we move on to the next one. Um, I've got a new idea again for you tomorrow, and then we'll take a look at the stock that we bought today, uh, which was um, um, GGC. And um, without further ado, the stock for tomorrow is Taser, T A S R. So in just a moment, I'll show you the chart, and I'll show you how we're going to take this idea and turn it into some money. So don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of TASR, TASER. I'm um, sure everybody is familiar with this company, especially if you've been arrested. <laughs> I haven't yet. I'm working on that. Okay, uh, this is a call on the long side. We'll be looking to buy this stock tomorrow, uh, right around five dollars and seventeen cents, just about where it closed. I'm going to zoom in in a minute. I just want to show you where my target is. Uh, my target is seven dollars and twenty-five cents. The bottom of this pattern here. That's our first resistance that we're going to run into. Um, my stop loss order area would be a break below this, a closing below that, which is $4.85. Uh, so let me zoom in and show you what I see. Okay, a couple things going here. All right, We got our initial breakout. And why is this a breakout? This, this move here is important for the overall pattern for this next move to work. Because if we hadn't gotten through this resistance area here, this is our first line of resistance on, on, any, uh, on any return back up right here this top and because we were able to get through it and penetrate it that's the first sign that the stock is trying to change the direction so we have our first breakout which actually came off of an ascending triangle if you see it there see it breakout pull back another ascending triangle forming so this is going to be breakout pull back go but the go is also being accompanied by this ascending triangle. It's a good looking one. And you can see yesterday we broke out, today we pulled back. So this is why this is the area we want to buy it in. And if you pay up a nickel or eight cents above last night's close, uh, that's okay too. So let me recap that. That's TASR, it's a call on the long side, and uh, when it gets to our target, we can make ourselves about two dollars in this trade. Okay, let's take a look at the stock we bought uh, this morning, GGC, and I paid uh, three dollars. And uh, I should write these things down. Uh, three thirty-seven. I paid. Uh, I closed at uh, three twenty-eight. Uh, no big deal. Uh, it's still backing and filling. Our ascending triangle is still intact. 
and uh, this is our target up here around seven dollars and thirty cents so we'll put that into our portfolio just a quick look at ATML the one I sold what a great looking picture five trading days we bought it down in here on some scary news that came out one morning I remember we got an opportunity and it didn't quite get totally to my uh, top of my um, uh, target but for me it got close enough alright let's take a look at the major indexes and we'll see where our parameters are first the Dow okay this is our ascending triangle line we don't want any penetration of that line can it come down and touch it and diggle around there for a little bit yes it can but it cannot penetrate it this pullback was absolutely no surprise whatsoever my call is down hold on a day or two maybe next week sometime and, and, and a breakout through this through this high that's my call we'll see how it develops Dow transportation pulling back somewhere near support didn't quite get near get to it but this is our area of support Russell 2000 also pull back um, this is our support but you know there's also an ascending triangle being formed in here too I'll point it out to you there it is in there that being the top see it okay uh, what's next is the SPY which is based the Standard Poor's 500 this is our ascending triangle look still uh, it can pull back all the way to that ascending line that trend line if you want to call it my guess is it'll stop right in here right off of this high right here that's my guess it really shouldn't penetrate, it shouldn't close below that level right there and there could be a little bit more weakness tomorrow I expect a little bit more weakness especially in the morning I'd like to get my indicator really oversold, it's oversold but not like really oversold like it was really overbought okay the QQQQs we know the picture this is our support area we pull back in the big picture we didn't pull back much we can come down all the way down into here and still uh, hold on to the picture we could actually come all the way down into here and not violate the picture so uh, we got a lot going on here for us uh, we got a lot of room to play with here my guess is we don't penetrate this line we back and fill for a few days and then we go again okay that's my uh, that's my view of the market until tomorrow this is TK signing off.